I didn't grow up dreaming of this job, you know, because really? I grew up, no, I, I grew up on a farm with practical jobs and parents mm -hmm. who were entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, I had my parents divorced when I was young, mm -hmm. and my mom and my stepdad owned Subway restaurants. My father and my stepmom ran a farm. We were always outside. We were imagining we had forts. It wasn't on my radar or understanding that it was a career choice. It was just a hobby. And I remember they were like, oh, they want you to, I sit in my shoe closet and I like record my, <laughs> my I don't have a big fancy studio. You don't need one. You know, they said they want you to go in. And hilariously, I was bright blonde at the time and I wore like light pink and I walk into this audition and they show me a picture of, you know, the mock-up for Wraith. And I was like, yeah, oh my God. Like, I, like in my mind, because I'm used to acting, I'm like, I look nothing like this girl. And I'm like, my character is Pathfinder. One of your co-stars in The Boys is Carl Urban, correct? Yeah. You were also a guest on the uh, Craig Ferguson talk show, yes. correct? Okay. I have voice matched both of those actors. Carl Urban, I voice matched for a movie he did called Pathfinder. How funny and full circle is that? Yes. If you need me to talk like Craig to make you feel a bit more at home. Wait, you want to talk about nerve-wracking? That must have been. out there, my manager said... Do not say f and do not talk about f I wear size 11. I have huge feet. And he's like, you know what that means? I was like, I have a big f And then I literally turned and was like, I wasn't supposed to. Oh, my God. My estimation of you has just doubled. I remember when we went through, like, all the efforts. So, like, right. the punching, the kicking. The... And I'm, I'm a pretty active girl, so I most of it I understood. And so we want to do one where, like, you get electrocuted and then you, like, die. So in my head, I'm, like, thinking about it for a second. And I was like... Yeah, I can do that. What came out of my mouth sounded like Beavis and Butthead, and I went, uh, uh. No, we're going to use that for the Shetland pony death we have coming up later. It's worked out great. You work for a charity, or work with a charity, I believe, called Lung Force? Yep. Lung okay. Force. It's, a, it's a division of uh, the American Lung Associated lung association that they started um, a little over five years ago. More and more we find pollution, we find radon, we find chemicals, like all, all of these things are really factors in uh. what it's the number one cancer killer in the entire United States, more than prostate, breast, ovarian, everybody put together. Yeah. You know how many times I'm like, I'm going to delete my social media. And then I think, no, because in the last five years since my grandma's passed, only through social media, I've raised over $125,000 for the American Lung Association. So we're not going to delete it. We're going to use it for positivity and spreading awareness and educating and fundraising. Pathfinder has gotten stuck inside one of Wraith's portals. That reminds me, am I one of the voices in your head? Am I? Am I? Am I? Well, now you will be. Say, Wraith, I found your eyeliner. Or is that Mirage's? I definitely don't wear eyeliner, though. Say, Wraith. I like emo too, but there's a limit. I don't consider myself emotional. I don't have emotions. Neither do I. Except happy.